In ESMA 2020, I presented the final results of a global open label randomized trial called Keynote 361 in first line advanced metastatic urothelial cancer. So the trial randomized patients uh, into one of three arms chemo, standard chemotherapy along with platinum based combinations, both cisplatin based and carboplatin based, or to a pembrolizumab monotherapy arm or to a chemotherapy plus pembrolizumab arm. The trial enrolled 1,010 patients globally in multiple countries. The primary endpoints were dwelt. One was PFS by blinded central review, and another was overall survival. Now, for the PFS endpoints, both these endpoints compared the chemotherapy plus pembrolizumab combination arm to the standard chemotherapy arm, which is the standard of care as of now. The PFS endpoint showed the combination of chemotherapy and pembrolizumab at a PF median PFS of 8.3 months compared to 7.1 months in the chemotherapy alone arm. Unfortunately, this was not statistically significant as per the predefined threshold. The median overall survival in the combination arm was 17 months, which is pretty decent, but it was not again statistically significant over the 14.3 month median overall survival in the chemotherapy only arm. And therefore the study did not meet either of its dual primary endpoints. There were planned secondary analysis, including of the monotherapy pembrolizumab arm to chemotherapy arm. However, because there was no alpha left to recycle into those secondary analysis, no formal testing of those secondary endpoints where it was able to be performed. However, what we did know is that the chemotherapy plus pembrolizumab combination had a safety profile very similar to that of chemotherapy alone with no new safety signals. And for the pembrolizumab monotherapy, uh, it was very well tolerated with a very uh, beneficial safety profile with fewer all-cause AEs compared to chemotherapy alone. Now, pembrolizumab has already been tested and proven in the second line setting, including Keynote 045, which proved it had overall survival benefit compared to standard of care chemotherapy in the second line setting. And therefore, there is still a role for pembrolizumab in the second line setting. And emerging data has shown that um, pembrolizumab has some activity in switch maintenance, although avilumab, uh, another drug, anti-PDL1, has phase three data supporting its use in the switch maintenance. So this study, Keynote 361, unfortunately did not meet its primary endpoints and will not change our standard of care. However, we have lots of biomarkers that are being analyzed and will be presented in future meetings. And publications.